I'm Joe Compton, and I'm here to give you a touch of indie with a nice cup of coffee or tea that you can curl up with this read by the dimming light. Today I'm reviewing By the Dimming Light from Juliet Rose. This indie author's 10th book from Above the Rain Collective is a fantastical suspense novel that follows Caleb Lockie as he navigates the beginning of his adult life after a traumatic event from his teen years in which his girlfriend was brutally murdered in the woods by their houses. This is the fourth book I've read from this author, and something that always comforts me when I'm about to get into a Juliet Rose book is I know it's going to start like a wildfire. And what I know and always look forward to is her ability to reel me in and keep me going for a good long while. I will be the first to admit, though, I haven't always been kept there in the later acts with previous books I've read. So stay with this review to find out if this was the case with this one. But I have to also say, I personally think Juliet Rose may be, from a technical and storytelling perspective, the best first act writer I have ever read. By the Dimming Light is not an exception to that opinion either. This book starts out with an amazing look into the soul of Caleb and how he has all but given up, been beaten down, strung out by the event of the very first chapter. Not just in his own mind, though that has a lot of it, but by the circumstances, the perceptions in this very small town and his family who keeps trying to make him free of uh, keep him free from spiraling. I love the intimacy of this approach. And I love that we are seeing it from so many sides, despite us mostly following it from the perspective of Caleb. And that part rings true throughout this entire book. This book is a whirlwind of emotions. It takes many twists and turns and quite a few. I don't want to spoil here, but ultimately events occur that set a path for Caleb and the decisions he has to make for himself, his family, and the found family that come along the way. What I think is supremely different in this book than previous Juliet Rose books I've read is there is a step away from the conventional three-act structure that she has followed in the past and relied on. This, in fact, has a more of a, like a five-act manga anime-esque structure that I think serves it so amazingly well. The action is vivid. The characters are so well drawn out here. And the moments that matter and get your emotions pulled in one way or another are so cinematic in nature and so well designed, just right at the perfect points. I love being frustrated by a character. <laughs> and Caleb gives me a lot of that at times. Uh, so much so that there is a point when the youngest character in the book, River, actually speaks for me as a reader in a moment that you just want him to open his eyes and shut the fuck up. Uh, I loved that moment. And when you read it, or if you have read it and you, you'll know exactly what moment I'm talking about. And when you do read it, if you do choose to do so, then come back and, and uh, talk to me about it. Cause I think it's worth talking about <laughs> again. I won't spoil it for the rest of you. Now, the question is, does this story come together a little too neatly and a little bit more lovey-dovey? Yeah, it does, but sometimes it just works and calls for that. And by the dimming light is one of those times. I like how I felt at the end of this, to be honest. I like all the psychology, all the vividness. I have to say, the beginning for me is not as perfect as Catch the Earth was, one of her other books. Uh, those first two acts in that book, Catch the Earth, are just so perfect. But that book lost me in the third act, wherein I love that this book from beginning to end is so cohesive and necessary to read from cover to cover and kept me doing so. It is my favorite to date of Juliet Rose's for sure. And in my humble opinion, it's her best altogether book. If you wanted a book that will take you on an emotional journey with a satisfying result, then By the Dimming Light just might be what you're looking for. You can get By the Dimming Light now as an ebook or paperback. Or if you are a KU subscriber, it is available on Kindle Unlimited. 
I'm Joe Compton, and thank you so much for listening to this review. And remember, it's always time to go indie now. <laughs>